Okay, how are we doing out there, everybody? I'm gonna show you what I'm doing here today. Show you my two uh, solar trackers here that I have Siamese with the little relay relay box I showed a while back. Just replaced my anemometer that I destroyed with the blower. Now, as you can see, the sun's been in and out today. I'll try to give you a better look, and you'll see how these two solar trackers aren't really synced. And I do believe that's due to voltage and line loss, depending on the time of the day and the state of the battery charge. And this unit here controls that unit. And as you can see, they're at a slightly different angle. And on a cloudy day, they really get messed up. So I'm gonna show you what I have to fix that. I'll be right back. Okay, so what we've got here is I bought another uh, LPC dual axis high wind speed parking solar tracker controller there's the anemometer for tracker number four there is the uh, sensor LED sensor and obviously that is the unit and this is where the solar sensor and the anemometer plug into the unit. So now each of the solar trackers will have their own controller. And this unit will be going on the Q cells, which is a 130 square foot tracker that's 10 feet wide and uh, 13 feet tall. So it catches a good bit of wind. All right, I'll be back when I got more to show. I got to uh, lay this out where it makes sense and uh, pre-wire a bunch of stuff and stick up a piece of unistrut off the top of the solar tracker to uh, stick out the sensor and the anemometer where it'll catch the wind. All right, I'll be back when I get it done, or closer to done. This is gonna take a while. I'll be back. Okay, I've opened up the box. As you can see, it's packed with uh, tons of stuff. I put one little screw in here, one little screw up top, and I made a backer board for this, which is outside, and I'll show you that in a minute. Okay, there's the little block of wood I made, and this is going to get screwed to that block of wood. You should pay attention to what I'm filming here. All right, I'll be back in a minute. I'm gonna hang. Okay, there is the uh, tracker unit bolted to the 6x6. Six six. With any luck at all, this is going to come around here. And no, it does not, so I'll have to put this underneath. The cord's not long enough. Under here will be fine. I'll have to find a uh, little waterproof cover to put this in. Basically, underneath it won't get wet anyway. Alright, now I gotta get a uh, piece of Unistrut and attach it to this piece. I'm thinking about a six foot length though to do it. I'll have the smaller Unistrut headed out on top of the panels. And that's what will hold the, uh, the anemometer and uh, the uh, sensor to control the unit. All right, I gotta go hunt those up. I got them. I gotta go figure it out, put it together, and I'll show you when I'm done. Okay, I'm using cone nuts to secure the sensor to the uh, soup strut. There's the anemometer. I'll be back. Okay, we've got the unit strut mounted. The uh, sun solar tracker controller mounted, the anemometer is mounted, and it's about four o'clock. I think this is going to be to be continued. My knees and ankles are just shot going up and down the ladder and walking on the rock, so I might continue on with this and cable tie it to the Unistrut. And I think tomorrow will be wiring day. Alright, that's it so far. It's coming along good. get it away from those panels. Nice. So get a good bit of wind on it. That ended up being a, an 8 foot 2, two inch piece of uh, Unistra total. So that's pretty cool. Alright, more to come. More to come. Go find some boxes. Alright, that's all for now. Okay, here's an update. <coughs> it's about 3, left 3 o'clock Saturday. May 1st, 
show you what I did in here. The solar tracker here now is completely independent. Came in here, I cut out the relays, wired it direct. That's one of the relays over there. Absolutely beautiful day as you can see. And I just got done. Can't see the viewfinder, just got done with this 130 square foot solar tracker. There's the viewfinder. Got the anemometer and the sensor. I ran it through all its tests. Everything's perfect. I gotta quit bobbing around while I'm filming. But she's working just fine. Everything's nice and neat. Ran the wires into this box. Rewired this box as far as the uh, actuators go. Used one of these double wires for a power cord, wrapped the other one up. So everything's inside, tucked away nicely. Very pleased. Very hot out here too. Give you another view. Hopefully I don't fall walking backwards. The anemometer spinning in a very light wind. I see I've got the tilt on this one set a little more than that one. So we're all happy swinging in the breeze. This is very cool. Very cool. So that's it. That's another big item off my list of things to do. I love it. I want you to pay for your system. Everything else is golden. There she goes, screaming in the breeze. Alright, that's the wrap up. That's the LPC. High wind speed parking, dual axis or single axis solar tracker controller. I mounted this little guy up onto the box out of the weather. So yeah, very cool. Alright, time to pick up all the tools. Hope everybody's having a good day. I'm Tickle Pink, everything's working great, and I'm out.